National Farm to School program is a way to teach children how to eat nutritiously and also to reconnect with the farmer. All right, my name is Ben Abel. I consider myself a beginning farmer. I'm an organic farmer. Uh, we grow certified, or we have grown certified organic produce for the previous three years. So last year we um, we formed a partnership with KHI Foods and the Sustainable Food Alliance to start marketing uh, some butternut squash uh, to a more diverse uh, range of uh, customers. So our butternut squash, we've just been selling to restaurants, groceries, and the distributors. We, we uh, linked up with KHI. Um, I think Bob Perry at the University of Kentucky is, is who uh, connected us, I believe, and had some conversations with Mill and Doug and ended up they wanted to try out the butternut squash, processing it into a product that's more uh, usable for the certain types of end users that don't have the kind of kitchen staff or, or, or time um, to process it there at the facility. So we partner with them, we, sit, we send them butternut squash, um, they peel it, uh, chop it, dice it, and freeze it, and uh, they send it to the school system. Uh, University of Kentucky, Fayette County Public Schools, um, and other school systems uh, all ended up purchasing a good amount of the product. And uh, last year was kind of a pilot year, 2012. Now 2013, we're kind of expanding it quite a bit and, and hope to keep moving quite a bit of the butternut squash. And so by developing a product that kind of meets the school system's needs, their, their price requirements, their quality requirements, um, to be able to develop that product on here in Kentucky, on Kentucky farm in a sustainably farmed uh, manner is really exciting to us because I know I'm helping to contribute to um, kids being introduced to produce, being introduced to a healthy way of eating and, and just uh, at the most basic level contributing to their nutrition. So it is, it's a very exciting way to market our produce. Did you taste the butternut squash? Yeah. yeah. Do you like it? Yes. Excellent. What did it taste like? It tastes like cinnamon. Cinnamon yes. rose. Yes. Cinnamon. Excellent. Yes. Really good. Really tasty. I think my favorite part of the Farm to School team is the community we have with the relation of the team and all the different people we've got involved. We've got such a great group of people with the great experience and knowledge within the field of local food and just food service in general. When schools buy food that has traveled a long distance, there are lots of costs involved in getting that food to your plate. The food has to leave a farm, get processed, packaged, sent to a wholesaler, and then it must be distributed to the school where it's finally eaten. This means that the money gained by selling the product has to be split among a bunch of different parties. This means that the farmer gets a much smaller piece of the pie. However, when schools buy from a local farmer, they get to keep most, if not all, of the money the school pay for it. The schools in Kentucky spent a total of $48 million on school food last year. Schools are a huge potential market for our farmers. Farm to School offers a lot of potential for Kentucky farms, the families that live and work on those farms, their communities and our economy as a whole. We need support from state, federal leaders, school food service directors, and other entities for educating farmers about working with schools, solving distribution and storage issues, and much more in order to can continue to see farm to school grow. Now, what all this means is that local foods help support our local farmers, our community, and our economy. Buying local foods builds our local economy and helps ensure that our local farmers can keep doing what they do, and uh, there's a great sense of pride in that. Um, during the Farm to School program, we teach the kids about the nutrients in the foods that we talk about, and with fruits and vegetables, they lose nutrients as soon as they're separated from the vine or the tree that they grow on. So locally grown produce actually has a lot more nutrients because they're able to retain that. Um, anything from heat, air, water, all those things can destroy the nutrients in fruits and vegetables. And so the longer that they're able to stay on the vine and the shorter um, time that they're in transportation, then the nutrients are retained in the food. It is critical that Farm to School's classroom component fully supports the standards that our teachers are teaching every day. Fayette County's Farm to School model purposefully addresses content standards across many disciplines at all levels of instruction, such as renewable versus non-renewable, supply and demand, 
fossil fuel extraction and combustion, identify nutrient-rich food groups, food choices, and microeconomics. Through our Farm to School instruction, teachers are confident that students are receiving standard-based instruction in science, social studies, and practical living. Through our hands-on interactive lessons and local food taste tests, students are practicing 21st century learning skills by critically thinking about the impact of their choices, communicating the importance of local food to their school community, and collaborating with diverse community partners like local farmers, FCPS Child Nutrition, Lexington Farmers Market, University of Kentucky College of Ag, Fayette County Health Department, Farm Bureau, and more, many more. Our learning outcomes align with the Kentucky Environmental Literacy Plan's mandate that all Kentucky students will graduate high school environmentally literate. At our schools, students participate in real world applications of what they're learning in science, social studies, practical living, reading, and math by working cooperatively to critically analyze the benefits of local food, problem solve ways to improve access to local food, raise awareness about local ag issues, and role play with community stakeholders and leaders to fully understand the simplicity and complexity of our local, national, and global food systems. There are tremendous benefits of local food to our local and global environment. Local small farmers tend to use sustainable ag farming practices that help prevent erosion, soil pollution, water pollution, through fertilizer runoff and loss of biodiversity. Each of us can make a positive difference to our environment by eating a more sustainable diet. And a big part of that is growing, purchasing, and eating local food.